Hey guys, I'm Nathan Turner and today we're going to have a look at what I've got in my little lure box for trout. Okay, I don't carry much stuff with me when I go chasing trout. I've um, got a few hard bodies in here, some S-Factor which I don't ever really use, some stump jumpers, some pond masters, a couple of the HRT lures, some rebels, an ugly duckling and some more HRTs. Uh, these little cranks here nice and light three grams I've got those in two colors so in the rainbow and the brown pattern they've been fantastic for me nice and light I run a Majorcraft Trapara one to three pound rod with a little uh, 1000 reel so it's perfect for casting those the ugly duckling again that's a floater uh, that color has been really good Gets down nice and deep and gets back up pretty quickly. The Rebel uh, Grasshopper. He's been great. I've taken the front treble off that. That's what seems to get stuck on things. And I'll probably change the rear to a double as well. Um, good action. Get plenty of follows. Haven't had a hit on it yet. And we'll see how it goes. I've got the... These are more like a, a minnow shape. They're a 5 gram lure from HRT, uh, made in Poland, again floating, because I go in the skinny water so much, the floating action is really good. Um, a little snacky S pond master, um, imitates a bit of a prawn or a shrimp, haven't really thrown that one, as you can see he's getting a bit rusty, um, was really good on the bass a few years ago. And when I hit the heavy brush and it's a bit deeper, throw this stump jumper. Um, never had a stump jumper get snagged. Uh, it's been pretty good, cast a mile for the light gear I'm running. As I said, I've got the S factor in there, haven't used it really yet. And then we've got jig heads on this other side. Now these are all TT anatomic. So I got these TT 160th um, for the really light plastics. Uh, they've been fantastic, hold the bait really well in the tournament series. Got these 140s, 40ths, again, really good, real sticky. And then I've got the Atomics in a 132, which I'm trying to get out now for you, with more of that traditional style head and, and bait grip. So you can see that 132 ounce they've been really good as well all right onto the plastics this is my Poseidon fishing uh, lure plastic wallet it's been fantastic uh, recycled materials made for the exterior um, got a couple of the Berkeley crickets um, in a chartreuse and in their their dark brown color I can't remember the name um, heap of mayflies these are the savage gear 3d mayflies and they've been fantastic they swim really well in the chartreuse again um, Berkeley Helgramites I find they're really tough um, the plastics not the greatest but the shape works for me and then just a few different creature baits and whatnot. And some grubs in a few different colours. And then some Kitex. You can't go past running a couple of Kitex. See so you guys, this is what I've been running for trout. Um, haven't really hit much this year. We've sort of been more aiming at. Uh, getting ready with the new kayak and hitting some bass, getting ready for Glenbourne with the, the Yak Hunters guys. Um, but the streams here are really clear at the moment, so I cannot wait to go and hit some more. Um, leave some comments or suggestions on stuff I should be carrying that I haven't been carrying. As I said, I run pretty light, run pretty light gear for them, so even the little 15, 20 centimeter buggers give me a good fight, and that's the best way to go, I reckon, for the trout anyway. Um, yeah, awesome. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you can be bothered.
uh, check out my Instagram at I'm underscore Nathan underscore Turner as well. Thank you.